Hey yo, what's going on guys? T Pan here back with another The Walking Dead video. Uh I have not played this game in a long time for the channel. But I got The Walking Dead back and now I'm gonna be playing it. Yay. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one. Through this. Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. I don't I remember don't if we thinking. saved uh, Carly or Doug, daughter, or that and I wanted to go back and see, you. but I was like, mm, nah, I'll just, I'll just save ass. whoever, I guess. I like Doug more. Carly isn't all that helpful. Doug becomes helpful in this episode. Then he, yeah, things happen. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Why don't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. But he knows it's important to keep the adult spirit functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor. And, you know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Who knows what Larry's problem is? Maybe that's just the way he is, but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Jesus Christ. 
okay? Get, get it off! Get it off! God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis! Maybe they can help! These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that! What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to me, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. You can't chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. This is fucked up. You gotta help us. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Okay. Oh, shit. Walkers. It's now or never leave. Please get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Anything, please! Try to go! Let's go! Let's go! Lee, it has to be now! Out. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on. We gotta move. How did you manage? <laughs> I would have been able to run from that. Just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, uh, no. Fine, you guys fight it out. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over. 
over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. I know exactly who I'm going to give it to. I don't know who I'm gonna give the three to. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? <laughs> this face is hilarious. Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Want something to eat? If your camp got raided, it probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I am really hungry. Thanks. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. up okay Lee I was pretty fucked up back there having to cut that guy's leg off yeah I just hope capture can save him need any help with the wall nope actually we could use your axe do you mind if we take it yeah give us that thing for a bit here Mark this should help thanks Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. What is it between you two? Why do you have a personal grudge against Lee? He knows why. I'm gonna give it to my best friend, Kenny. Want something to eat? 
Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Kenny is my bro. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah? Well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... What's his problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen death, but that doesn't make it any easier. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen... We were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Doug, it works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Well, that's where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. We don't want any trouble. Of course. Uh, neither do we. Uh, 
I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, uh, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what do y'all think? Um, I forgot. Uh, really wanted me to go to the dairy. I'm pretty sure if I say no deal, we'll make a decision on it and then we'll go. So, uh, I don't know. If I say no, they'll, I'll make a vote on it. And then I'll have to go. And if I say okay, Lily will bitch at me. Um. I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Christ, daddy -o. I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle your pretty pink ass. We need to think like a group, Lee. This affects everyone. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon where we have access to the pharmacy for dad. Kenny, Katja? We go. Dad? You bet you, pumpkin. Doug? I say we do it. I'm in. If they're offering food, we gotta at least check it out. Clementine, what do you think? We... I'm very hungry. All right. Looks like we're going to a dairy. And now if I picked okay, Lily would run like, What are you doing, Lee? We can't really we can't trust food? him yet. Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. Whoa, well, what is happening? For something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good sign. Why is the, um... Subtitles freaking out? It smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I don't know what this says. Uh. The motor end's my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? We've actually made it pretty secure. I like that alarm system you made. That's pretty smart. I don't know what it's saying. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. Well, ten, actually, if you count the new guy. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. 
In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, yeah that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running a dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Damn it. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man. my camp. Who are they? Shit. Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. And you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What did do? Yeah, and you know what? He ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. St. John's Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh, wow. Got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel. Round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh, my goodness. That place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Ate fresh this morning. Holy moly! Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, my. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, yeah. why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do.
safe. Now I know where to find some rope in case they need help tying anything down. Oh yeah, I have to. and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat. Some rope, make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. It is, isn't it? This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay. I just put a freaking board in my back pocket. Hey guys, I'm gonna end this video here because uh, I'm gonna do two parts to this. So I'm gonna upload this one and then I'll probably do the other part either later tonight or tomorrow. Um, but I'm gonna be uploading another video maybe. There's no guarantee. It's possibly maybe um, with me at Dean's house. You guys remember Dean? If you don't, he's in the videos where I was playing when I was outside in the woods and stuff, and when we went to IGA. So, 
Hope you guys enjoyed. I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.